In this video, we are going to compare the Sony PS5 and the Xbox Series X in terms of 120fps output, and show you the differences including elevated blacks in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Let's see if you can guess whether Console B is the PS5 or the Xbox Series X. Hello everyone, my name is Vincent Thiel, and here I have a Sony PS5 and an Xbox Series X hooked up to two LG CX or C10 OLED, which have been calibrated in game mode. The PS5 on your left is set to performance mode which allows for 120fps output if it is supported by the game, while the Xbox Series X on your right is set to output 4K UHD at 120Hz on a console level, which means all games will be output at 4K 120fps. The games I'm going to compare are Fortnite, Dirt 5, and Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, basically games that support 120fps on the PS5. Let's kick things off with Fortnite. So here I'm playing Fortnite on the PS5 and the Xbox Series X, and even though these two characters are on different platforms, I've managed to get both of them onto the same island, which I think is quite amazing. I haven't participated in any crossplay since that Sailor Moon convention. Currently the game is set to 60fps, so let me go into the menu and select 120fps mode on both consoles. As you can see, the picture is flatter in 120fps mode not only on the Sony PS5, but also on the Xbox Series X. If you look at the grass here, there's a drastic decrease in the quality of the shadows and lighting effects, causing the whole image to lose a lot of pop and depth. Also, if you had been paying attention to the bush, don't we all, you'll notice that it has disappeared in 120fps mode on both consoles indicating that the game engine has been designed to cut down the number of objects that needs to be rendered on screen in order to sustain higher frame rates. Now, let me swap back to 60fps and show you something else. You can see that the grass now has more depth and texture, and the flowers and bushes have popped back into place. But on top of that, if we summon the freezing information menu on both LG CX OLEDs, you can see that both consoles are still outputting 4K 120 frames per second to the TVs, even though the in-game setting is only 60 frames per second. Now, we know that the Xbox Series X is capable of this because it is outputting 120 FPS on a console level, so all 60 FPS games will be frame double before being sent out as 120 FPS video signal. But what's interesting is that the Sony PS5 is also frame doubling to 120fps in Fortnite, as long as performance mode is selected on the console. What this means is that if you set the console to output 120fps, but do not engage 120fps mode inside Fortnite, so the game still runs at 60fps, you will retain superior graphics quality, yet still get to enjoy lower input lag on the TV because the television is still receiving a 120fps video signal from the console at the end of the day. Of course, you won't get the clearer motion provided by true 120fps, but at least the controls will feel snappier without any drop in picture quality, which I think is a good middle ground. Let's move on to the next game. This video is sponsored by Skillshare, an online learning community offering thousands of classes for creative and curious people on topics including photography, video, and more. For example, I'm always looking to up the production value on this YouTube channel, so I've been learning some tips from this DIY cinematography class by Ryan Booth, such as how to light a subject. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads, and they are always launching new premium classes, so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. With an annual subscription, it is less than 10 bucks per month, but the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the YouTube description below will get a free trial of premium membership to explore your creativity, so go ahead and give Skillshare a try. Thanks again for your support. Okay, the next game we are going to compare is Dirt 5, and in-game, both the Sony PS5 and the Xbox Series X have been set to use the high frame rate mode which outputs at 120fps. And just like what I have demonstrated in my previous PS5 120fps vs 60fps video, the crowd is also missing from the 120fps version on the Xbox Series X, 
which means that the game engine has been designed to omit the crowd in order to hit 120 FPS, probably because of hardware limitations on both the PS5 and the Xbox Series X. You know the HO philosophical question, if a tree falls in a forest and no one is around to hear it, does it still make a sound? Similarly, if there's no one around when you come first, on the racetrack, are you still winning? Anyway, analyzing other graphical elements on screen, the PS5 managed to render a bit more texture and detail than the Xbox Series X, for example around these skid marks here. However, because the Xbox Series X is able to output 120 FPS on a console level, this gives it an advantage over the PS5 for this particular game. Let me explain. If we switch the in-game video option back to prioritize resolution on both consoles, you can see that the cheering crowd has returned, and there's a noticeable improvement in graphics quality. However, if we summon the freezing information bar on both LG CX OLED TVs, you can see that although the PS5 has dropped its video output to 4K resolution at 60fps, the Xbox Series X is still able to output 4K 120fps. It is taking the game's internal 60fps frame rate and doubling it to 120fps before sending the video signal to the television. In other words, when playing Dirt 5 on the Xbox Series X, you can keep the beautiful graphics, fill the stands with people, and still enjoy the lower input lag provided by 120fps, whereas you can't do that on the PS5. Last but not least, let's check out Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War whose 120fps mode has to be enabled from the console, not inside the game. And straight away from the start of the campaign, we noticed that the black floor was elevated on the Xbox Series X, causing the picture to look more washed out compared to the PS5. To make sure we hadn't done anything wrong, we double-checked all the settings on both the Xbox Series X and the LG CX. Black level auto equates to low, which is correct for a limited RGB signal. If we switched black level to high, then the picture would become even more washed out due to black level mismatch. We also went into the HDR calibration screen on the Xbox Series X to make sure we have set all three parameters correctly especially mean TML or minimum tone matte luminance which can affect the black floor. Finally, we dropped the console resolution down to 4K 60Hz, and still saw the same elevated blacks in COD Cold War on the Xbox Series X, so we concluded that it's just how the game was presented in HDR on the Xbox Series X. Because of its deeper blacks, the PS5 version came across superior to our eyes, delivering greater pop and depth not to mention more vibrant colors which were not diluted by grayish blacks. But please bear in mind that we only saw this picture quality advantage in Black Ops Cold War. When playing Dirt 5, we think the Xbox Series X is better because it permits 4K 120fps output for the lowest input lag on your TV, even with the in-game resolution set to 60fps to preserve high quality graphics. On Fortnite, it is a dead hit and generally we prefer setting both consoles to output 4K 120fps, but leave the in-game resolution at 60fps for higher graphics fidelity. For more videos on next-gen consoles, please click on our playlist here, and I will see you in the next video.